Okay, you're going to have to excuse me if I sound a little bit more excited than I normally do when I get out and I'm testing stoves. This is the first time since the pandemic struck in Canada and the state of emergency was declared in March for Nova Scotia that I've been able to have a fire in the woods. So I'm celebrating by, having a, by using a stove that I've been wanting to get out here and test for quite a while. And that is the Simple Theory Gear Pack Stove. So I just have it lit with a couple of sticks in it and I'm going to make some water for coffee. That's the whole celebration but I thought you might be interested in having a look at it. Okay, just to be clear, this is not going to be any kind of a review. It's really just an introduction of a stove that I bought from Simple Theory Gear, known as the Pack Stove, Mac, and I'm sure many of you have heard of them by now. It's a very unique design. It is uh, exactly that, a simple design, designed to withstand just about all that you can put towards it. Now, all I'm going to do is just light her up, get a little tiny fire going in it, put my water on for coffee and call it good for today. I need to make a lot more observations on the stove before I can give you any kind of uh, a really good uh, review on what it's all about. So to get it going today, something I haven't been able to do for a while is just to use a ferrocerium rod. I found some fat wood in a stump just where I'm at right now and it's uh, spruce. You don't often think of spruce as being something that creates fat wood, but it does. And uh, a piece of birch bark that I'm going to transfer the flame on to. There we go. Actually, I'm not even sure I need to. Just dump it right in the way it is. Broke up some branches. And I guess the only reason we have the ability to have a fire right now is because we've had so much rain in the last few days, which is good. Of course, it makes it a little bit challenging to find dry wood. I think I did find dry wood. I'm not making any excuses. This snapped good, so it should burn well. And I don't need very much with this stove. My experience so far is that I don't need very much to get a fire going of sufficient strength to boil a cup or two of water. So all I had in the bottom there is a little bit of birch bark picked up off the ground here. That little bit of fat wood. These broken branches, I think they're probably maple. It seems to be the predominant tree here. I just picked the branch up off the ground. I didn't even go looking for uh, dry dead standing. I didn't think I had to, and I don't think I have to. My initial observation so far is that this is one well-designed stove in terms of airflow. It, uh, it's actually quite amazing. It, uh, you know, I was a little concerned at the top uh, and we'll talk more about this later, that there was enough exhaust room for the, for the venting. In fact, Mac made some changes from the first generation to a second generation stove just to increase the venting at the top. Uh, this is second generation. I've made some modifications to it. I'll show you those again at a later time. And there's something I made in, in conversation with Mac, so uh, it's not just a random thing that I did. Uh, you know, the airflow is, is really well designed that's one one of max specialties is is getting the the airflow down to a really good efficient uh flow so as you can see it didn't take much to get that little bit of wood going and as soon as i can poke it down and make it drop inside of the stove i'll just drop my zebra billy pot on and i'll have hot water within a few minutes for coffee So I know how excited it is for you stove junkies like me to sit here and watch a stove burn, <laughs> but I'm not going to make you do that. Uh, you know, I keep this video to a reasonable length just to show you this stove in action to get started. Impressive. I am so far. I'm very impressed with it. All right, that's all that was. Just an introduction to show you the Simple Theory Gear Pack Stove and, and its initial burn out here in the woods. I had been playing with it a little bit at home, so it's not as if I, my very first use of it, but I'll be coming back to it at a later time with a more complete review on it. But until then, get out and explore and take that path less travel. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.